boy. Mai's getting forceful, you know. Look how forceful she's getting. Quick spoiler. Man. But yeah, today's video, I'll be showing you my manga collection. I'll be showing you everything on my shelf, even though I promised a manga collection, but it is a manga collection with the shelf. Let's just start off at the top shelf. We have Gogeta Blue. I got him when the film dropped, Dragon Ball Super Broly. When that dropped, I got myself Gogeta Blue. And before I go on to the others, I'm Phil's Lifestyle if you do not know. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to all my lifestyle players. Let's get back to the video and don't forget if you are new today remember to subscribe I also do a Twitch I recently come a Twitch affiliate so yeah go and check that out that's under Phil's Lifestyle also got a discord under Phil's Lifestyle connecting with the Twitch and the YouTube so check that all out I got a lifestyle player Facebook community group where we all could talk share our videos share our everything we do share everything creative you do on the community Facebook page. Let's get back to our haul. So here we have Baruto. I got that from Japan to be fair. I got Luffy from Japan. Those two were straight from Japan. The Nintendo Switch just here. The case itself was from Spain. And a lot of you must know what this is by now. I got this from Jump Force. And I bought the Collector's Edition. Going on to the next shelf. Going to the right. Yeah. You can call it whatever you want, going to the right, sideways, but going this way in the video. Alright, now onto the second shelf we have Funko Pop. A few of these have got a few little backstories to them. I got Monkey D Luffy. That was actually a gift as well. That was a gift from a cousin. Or was that from Just Chrissy? Sorry, that was from Just Chrissy. Monkey D Luffy, I'll take that back. Then we got Shota Azawa. A hero costume from My Hero Academia. This was also, I don't know, I won this in a giveaway from Sushi Fairy. Check out her channel, I'll leave the links down below for Sushi Fairy and Just Chrissy. Then we go on to Todoroki. This one is a exclusive from Comic Con. Then we go on to our next exclusive, Naruto Shippuden, Naruto Six Path. Well, both of them here are exclusive. One's from GameStop and one was from Comic Con. Going on to the mangas. This is what I've been waiting for. I don't know if you lot have been waiting for it as well or what, but you lot have been asking for it, you get me? So I'm gonna deliver, I'm gonna deliver. Let's start off with one of my favorites. This is not in order, by the way. It's not even alphabetical order. I'm just looking at it now. This, this order is bad, sorry. I don't know how this order came around. But anyway, The Promised Neverland. I'm up to date. I'm up to date with this manga, I'm not gonna lie. I read it digitally. If you are not reading The Promised Neverland, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. This one's pointless. If you watch the channel, you know me, you know about Phil's lifestyle. Dragon Ball will be in here. Dragon Ball Super. Unfortunately, I don't have no other Dragon Ball mangas. It's a shame, because I read it all digitally. And I'm not gonna lie, I have not even read Dragon Ball. I watched it, but I haven't read it. Going on to the Goblin Slayer. Mangas are expensive, you know. You buy them and you think, damn, I've got other ones to collect. But I'm still collecting the Goblin Slayer. I'm very behind. But if you don't know about Goblin Slayer, get into it. It's very graphic. Definitely not for the children, so I wouldn't advise it. Going on to Seraph of the End. One of my entry mangas. This is one of the first ones I've actually brought. The strategy, the RPG behind it, the mechanics behind this is brilliant. You can't go wrong. And alongside, is it wrong to try and pick up girls in the dungeon? In Japanese, that is damn patchy. Brilliant read. You will never go wrong. Never, ever, ever go wrong. Going on to the Naruto stories. These are more side stories, not really mangas. They're more like stories. Let me give you a quick look, actually. Let's get a quick look. Sasuke story. So, as I was saying, it's not really a manga, it's more of an actual story. So this part took place as Naruto was ending this took place and then you all, oh, Itachi story is mad, Itachi, you will love Itachis. These are fairly old. This was the next gift if you're wondering why on earth is One Piece here, New World Chapter 84. My friend thought I was collecting One Piece and he bought me Chapter 84 but I haven't got a One Piece manga collection. Going on to Glimpnir, it's kind of new. These, all three of these were from Just Chrissy for my birthday. Going on to the next shelf, we have Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen is a new entry in Shonen as well. You lot have not noticed, apart from Goblin Slayer, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? And Glimpnir, everything else has been Shonen so far. If you cannot see from this shelf so far, I'm a Shonen fanboy. This is what you're gonna see right now. A lot of Shonen stuff, but there is a few exclusive stuff as well, what not really Shonen, but anyway. 
Jujutsu Kaiser. There's a new entry to Shonen. Love it. Different, very dark for Shonen as well. I never really read something this dark in Shonen so far, but I love it. If you have not read Jujutsu Kaiser and you like dark fantasy, you would enjoy this. You would really enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen. Going on to Black Clover. Black Clover. I've been up and down with Black Clover. I can't lie. I've been reading it digitally as well. I can't get used to him. I find it hard. I can't get used to Astra. I'm trying. I'm trying. In the anime, I think I adapted a bit more to him in the anime, but the manga, I don't know what it is. Going on to Bruto. Now this is a different story. I don't know if it's because I'm a big fan of Naruto. So automatically, I'm in love with the Bruto storyline. The anime now, my days. I don't know what they're dealing with in the anime. It is so different from the manga. My guess is, the anime is just for character development. So we get to know the characters, get to know who they are. And then in the manga, they just give you everything. Bam, the action's all there. Cause what's going on now in this? I can't wait for the anime adaptation. Going on to, they're one of the best ones on this shelf. I don't know if I'm too guessed, but the Demon Slayer. The Demon Slayer. If you know me on my channel, on my Instagram, I'm in love with the Demon Slayer. Nezuku, Tanjiro, they're my people. This, this storyline is too lit. When you think it's all gonna end and you get hit with a cliffhanger or that moment you never expect to happen, the Demon Slayer delivers that. Easy. Should we skip Citrus? Because I don't want you to call me a perv. So. And I was reading it in the beginning of the um, video as well. Mine's getting a bit aggressive, you know. This is coming a bit too much. But anyway, check out Citrus if you feel like a bit of you and you know, a bit of etchy. It's all up in there. All up in there. And now I'm going to start lying again. I'm going to start lying. Because I just said Demon Slayer is like one of the best mangas on this shelf. But oh my days. The Death Note. The whole collection, you know. Not one, not two. The whole thing. The whole thing is in here. Boom, look at this. This is all of the Death Note. All in one edition. Mad. You'll be thinking, how would you be reading these thick pages? Guess what? They turn so, oh look, I'm embarrassed myself. They turn so easy. Look at that. Look at that. By the way, this is not me. I finished this. This is just Chrissy. This is just Chrissy. I read this. So you're seeing a bookmark here. That's just Chrissy. That's not me, I've done this. But yeah, it turns pretty easy. It looks thick and hard to read, but it's perfect. It is perfect. And if you don't notice, yeah, this ain't shade by the way. If you class yourself as an anime connoisseur, a manga reader, manga collector, and you haven't got Death Note in your collection, or you never watched Death Note to say, oh yeah, I don't like it. Or if you never heard of Death Note, I really don't know what's going on. This is like one of the best things was touch anime and manga right now. To me, not what it's saying to me, it is. It is. Everyone I basically know who is into this kind of stuff, like myself, highly rate Death Note. I actually agree. <laughs> there you go, you see? Anyway, let's move on. Samurai 8. Samurai 8 is pretty heartbreaking to me. Cause I'm a huge fan of Messiah Kishimoto. Come up, come up, come up. I have to say this before this starts. Definitely heartbroken because it stopped. They stopped the manga completely. So it didn't even get an anime. But why I'm heartbroken, this was my first ever collaboration doing YouTube and I actually collabed with Viz Media with Messiah Kishimoto's work. So I'm very excited, even in YouTube, you don't actually started to talk in the comments, you don't are on it, you are happy, you love the manga reviews. I was getting comments all the time saying, do this, do that, and guess what? They stopped the manga. This manga right here, let's go on to number two, Samurai 8. This was specially delivered from Viz Media to me to collaborate and then they go and stop the whole manga. Absolutely mad, very mad. And the worst makes it, well, no one makes it even madder, yeah? I felt you lot, we had a connection. And as soon as Samurai 8 ended, you lot disappeared, you know? You disappeared, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, I've got some new friends though. <laughs> anyway, we've got a special one to me here as well. Still in the wrapper, cause I don't want to unwrap it. This manga here is volume one of Naruto. And you know what makes it so special? If you could read it's Japanese. It's a Japanese version. That's why it's still wrapped up, you know? Let's close that up, put him right in. And then, as you can see, I told you lot already, I'm a huge fan of Masaya Kishimoto. If you don't know who that is, that is the artist and the writer of Naruto. I'm sure a lot of you know who that is by now, even if you're young or old. All of you know who that is. So I've got, it may seem like all the volumes, but I'm missing one, no, I'm, not, I'm missing more than one, I'm missing 10 volumes for the last chapter. Remember to subscribe to Phil's 
lifestyle. Don't forget, that's me myself. I got a pop right here of Karuma himself. Can't go wrong with that. I need a six pass one. I haven't got that. These pops are expensive, you know, I can't lie. Because when you miss this year, buy them on the day. Because if you don't, next time you try and buy these stuff, they're hitting like 200 pounds. Are they crazy? Absolutely crazy. I'm not spending 200 pounds on the pop. But anyway, this is where my Naruto ends. Going on to My Hero Academia. My Hero is funny. I bought this. When they first came out, hated it. Absolutely hated it. You can hear me. Hated my hero. Come up, come up. I hated my hero academia. I did not like it at all. That's why I stopped at volume three. Read it digitally. I continue watching the anime. Now I love it. It's the best. My hero. Nah, 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 nah. It's not the best. But it's good. It's good. I love it now. So I need to collect more mangas of my hero academia. And as you can see, I tried to start One Piece, but it don't end. It's an ongoing soap. It does not stop, so I'm scared to start a One Piece collection. I don't even want to touch it just yet. I don't even want to blink at One Piece. Let's just move away from One Piece. So I don't know how we're going to do this, but do I need that? Do we both kneel down together? Let, right, let's all come down and look. Let's go, let's go. So here we have Tokyo Ghoul. Absolutely amazing. The reason why I have the collection of Tokyo Ghoul, I'll be real, it's expensive. Tokyo Ghoul is not a cheap manga, you know. They're like 10 pound a pop. So, you know, these ones down here, Ever too expensive to click. I haven't got that sort of money right now. Tokyo Ghoul, No Game No Life. No Game No Life is one of my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite animes I've watched. I did not like the film too tough. Attack on Titan. Now I can use the word the best. Simply the best. Attack on Titan's politics is deep. You want to know all about their politics in there. Boom into you. I like Yuri, but it's got to have a good story. It's got to have a good storyline. Fall in love, mad early. Then we got ReZero. It's the next good one. It's a bit like, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? But a bit more horror, a bit more underworld stuff to it. But it's a good watch, absolutely. Then I watched it before I read it. I started to read it after I watched it. I'm a bit weird like that. I could watch it first and read it after. But majority of the time, I do read first, then watch. To, oh, Dragon Ball, Japanese version. At a time when I was in Japan, in the UK, we was only on volume two. I can't lie to you, and I saw this in Japan, and these times Japan was on like, they were probably on volume 13 maybe? Well, we just landed on volume two. So I saw this, I thought, yeah, I did to the collection, but I unfortunately it ripped in the bloody airport. It doesn't matter. Put that back in. Astro Lost in Space. This was on one of Geeky Dreams' video, and I thought, oh, this sounds interesting. So I picked it up. And you know what? Because I'm into space, I like this sort of out of space stuff. I'm actually into this. It's really good. And obviously, here, yeah, you would never believe this. You would never actually believe this one. This one right here, as you can see, even turned yellow. This is like one of my only mangas I've had with this little yellow bit on it. Saw that online. This is one of my first ever mangas. First ever. But it never continued. <laughs> because Archive was like one of the best stories in Sword Art Online. And I just watched the rest to be fair. And the other side is just like, we'll skip this bit, so fast forward, it's like real. That's all like Bibles, photo albums. I'll give you a quick, I'll give you a quick peek. Go on. Any page you get. Ah! There, <laughs> you saw it, you saw it. <laughs> all right, and we got Vegeta, most likely Amazon. Sasuke, a positive Amazon. These are, the ones down here are the more budget pop. Vegeta, Sasuke, Toby. Oh, Vegeta and training that I thought this was meant to be exclusive, but I bought this in game. Kakashi, probably Amazon as well. Going down, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics book. That's a present from Grown Kidding. That's like my favorite Batman comic, Hush Part 1 and Part 2. Give you a quick look. One of the best Batman comics out there. I don't really collect comics to be fair. That's like God honest truth. I don't collect comics. I prefer just to watch the DC stuff. This was a V Jump magazine I got from Japan. It's official. I'm definitely gonna come back to Japan. I can't wait. I was meant to go this year. But unfortunately, we all know what's going on in the world. So that was canceled. Oh, Fate Grand Order. Shows a little decent illustrations. Lara Jade, I bought her book from Instagram. This is actually her. She's a brilliant photographer. Her skills are dope. So if you see her on Instagram, check it out. And her work will speak for itself. This is my book, my notebook, where I write everything down. What I want done, what I need to do, what I need to film or edit. All my ideas are all here. It's good, get yourself one of these. A little notebook. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. Because when I saw this, I thought, wow, it reminds me of my drawing. But I've never done it digitally. I've done a few digitally, but this drawing here, if you know the artist, please, please, 
please, if one of you know this artist, add her in my comments below. She's amazing. But unfortunately, her name's nowhere to be seen. And we found her, I found her at a convention. Look, she drew this when she was eight. And look at her drawing now. Amazing. Her name is absolutely nowhere to be seen. And last but not least, we have a Zelda art book before we had a Fate State Night one. Have a quick peek. There we go. And that's it up for the books. And I've got a picture of me and grown kidding when we was in Japan. Just got my Dragon Ball Super card. Going on to the last shelf. This is the next figure from Japan, Vegito Blue. And no, Gogeta is not on the top because I like Gogeta better. He just looked better out there. The figure itself looked better. Got the Amiibo, what I got in my collector's edition. I got my Link Nendroid here, 413. Wait, going back up, did I mention my Itachi Nendroid? There are only two Nendroids I got in my collection. And for all you collectors out there, well, someone will try to expose me for this Nendroid actually. Let's take this out. Someone tried to say this was fake. Let me know. I bought this legitly. So if this is fake, that means I got bumped. So let me know if this is real. Could I be upset if it's fake? Because it looks it looks real. It's got a good smile company logo here, just like this one. The only difference is this has got a bigger box, a much bigger box, as you can see in comparison now. But I thought that was just due to the time they were made. It could be anything, but who knows? Coming back up now. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed the collection. I really do. It's always growing. It's still growing to this day. Next time I do one, it's probably going to be so much bigger than this. I, I know I need an extra shelf already. So next video I want to do for you all. I don't know when. Probably the end of the year, maybe. I'll try it. Yeah, I just do a room tour and show you the gaming PC, my editing corner, where I do everything. Things, what I do, what I collect. So you get to know me a bit better. So let me know in the comments on what mangas you collect or what you got in your collection. Remember to subscribe, all that good stuff. And to all my lifestyle players, and if you're a lifestyle player and you're not following the Twitch yet, what's going on? But thank you to all the ones that helped us get to affiliate. We're so close to becoming a Twitch partner. It's a good start on Twitch, I can't lie. We've done it within the 30 days. Boom, we're there, coming at your door. All right, that's it, people. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, all that good stuff. To all my lifestyle players, keep on gaming on. Keep on loving. Um, 